so this yeah. time the general surgery part was game changer sir and uh, out of 40 questions sir around uh, 32 to 35 questions were like directly the concept you have taught in the videos were there sir so sir from mm-hmm. your part sir uh, endocrinology sir breast thyroid parathyroid trauma uh, were very very helpful sir and uh, i started preparing for uh, surgical gastro in december 2019 that is uh, during my final uh, ms after the launch of our uh, uh, mero plan sir general surgery plan i subscribed it and your videos were there sir good evening everyone i am dr rohan kandelwal your mero ss surgery faculty and i have the great honor of introducing dr drone sharma to you dr drone has secured rank 2 in the recently conducted ini ss exam in the surgical gastroenterology portion which uh, is one of the toughest mch uh, portions to crack so heartiest congratulations dr drone uh, from the entire maro team we all are very happy and proud of you thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you sir so dr drone tell us about your journey please uh, start from mbbs and uh, uh, tell us how did you prepare and how did maro help you in your uh, preparation for this ss exam yes sir uh, sir i did my under graduation from uh, rnt medical college udaipur rajasthan uh, mm-hmm. i was the university topper there in the final mbbs right. examinations and after that i joined my ms general surgery in uh, 2017 uh, in janavarlal nehru medical college belgavi karnataka and i passed my ms examination in july 2020 i was also university topper in gold medal in the ms final examinations uh, great i throughoutly uh, worked in a gi dominated unit Uh, in the in the, my entire residency so i was more inclined towards the gi cases and i have seen a uh, wide wide exposure of all luminal gi and hepatobiliary in all cases so my interest grew more and more after seeing a wide variety of cases and uh, i started preparing for uh, surgical gastro in december 2019 that is uh, during my final uh, ms i started preparing and uh, two years of preparation is what took you to get to this place which yes, sir, uh, yes, sir. which i feel is great for surgical gastroenterology and you said that you uh, grad you finish your post graduation in 2020 so just uh, a one year drop and you could clear yes, uh, uh, get a rank and you probably secure a rank in uh, aims so that is great yes. great yes, so you, um, you uh, started preparing since two years um, yes, sir. this time the ini ct ini ss exam had both a general surgery component and 50% was your uh, surgical gastroenterology portion so let's yes, start our discussion and first talk about the general surgery part how did yes, you sir. go about preparing for the general surgery part and how did uh, the maro videos help you there yes, sir. Uh, so to be honest sir uh, while preparing for surgical gastro i was more inclined definitely towards surgical gastro so i used to devote more time towards surgical gastro and general surgery i always felt that it is my weak portion weak part so like uh, uh, when you are reading about pancreas and colon and sometime you have to read about shock uh, wound healing so it becomes difficult at sometimes right. uh, so basic reading sir it was belly for me i read belly uh, cover to cover for general surgery part and subsistin uh, initial chapters 15 14 15 chapters i read sir uh, mm. but i was not able to revise it thoroughly uh, to truly speaking sir honestly and uh, after the launch of our uh, uh, mero plan sir general surgery plan i subscribed it and your videos were there sir so i used to split my day into two halves sir after that uh, first mm-hmm. portion to surgical guest room second half in the evening light uh, general surgery part sir so mm-hmm. general surgery part i used to first uh, see your videos sir afterwards mm-hmm. retrospectively i open the book and i'll uh, just jot down the important points and all so sir from mm-hmm. your part sir uh, endocrinology sir breast thyroid parathyroid trauma uh, were very very helpful sir uh, even this ini ss exam was uh, totally different from what regular it used to be happen because in this uh, in this time uh, 40 questions were from general surgery and 40 from surgical gastro earlier all 80 questions were used to be from surgical gastro only sir so this mm-hmm. time the general surgery part was game changer sir and uh, out of 40 questions sir around uh, 32 to 35 questions were like directly the concept you have taught in the videos were there sir uh, mm. especially the, the breast thyroid parathyroid and trauma part was dominated sir 
we proposed on yeah so i think so this time because there were a lot of questions from endocrine surgery trauma and uh, you also mentioned that they asked certain updates so all that yes, uh, were covered up in the general surgery part now yes, uh, dr drone if somebody is uh, following the marrow general surgery videos uh, yes, how much time will they usually take to finish the general surgery portion how much uh, how many hours did you devote to general surgery every day and how much time did it take you to finish the general surgery part sir in my opinion one should devote equal amount of time to both sir general mm -hmm. surgery as well as surgical gastro sir be it whatever pattern sir because this ini ss also is going to be conducted in the same pattern right. and the upcoming neat ss pattern is also totally devoted to general surgery part 200 question totally from general surgery sir right so i think general surgery is now it is more important than uh, specialty part sir to be honest sir because yeah, specialty part yes sir Specialty part. Year, there will be yes, more sir. focus on general surgery. Yes, sir. Specialty part. Eventually, one will read because he or she is fond of that subject. So Correct. he or she can read the MCH exit level uh, books also, sir. But in general surgery part, we tend to do silly, silly mistakes, sir. Even in small, small uh, things which are very basic. Even if a PG aspirant can correct that question, but uh, will not be able to correct that question because we are less enthusiastic about it or. Uh, we will not devote time so in my opinion sir a person should uh, devote 50 50% of time to both general surgery as well as uh, the part uh, super specialty parts mm. right and so, so if if uh, supposing let's let's assume that if somebody is spending 2 uh, to 3 hours every day then they can easily finish the general surgery portion in in um, 15 to 20 days maximum a month so the reason why i'm asking you this question is because uh, if somebody devotes 2 or 3 hours every day to general surgery then they can easily finish uh, using the marrow general surgery videos they can easily finish the general surgery portion in 10 to 15 days right so the reason uh, because you know you have the upcoming ss uh, exam as well the neat ss exam and uh, that is what i want to highlight that you know still you can finish general surgery just if you devote 2 to 3 hours every day as well uh, as dr drone mentioned general surgery will become the game changer in the coming exams so don't ignore general surgery yes sir uh, dr yes, sir. drone uh, what about the question bank did you access the marrow question bank uh, as well for general surgery uh, so i selectively used the question bank sir like as and when um, the time per permitted me i used to go and uh, do the question bank even sir uh, i'll be truthful the all uh, the all india post graduate uh, mock test used to be happen no sir so right. i used to attempt it and i used to submit on the first question and i used to uh, choose the filter of surgery all around okay. 26 or 30 questions of surgery in each paper i used to see the questions are well constructed sir and uh, uh, more mostly on the clinical scenario basis which are seeing which is in the demand and which is in the fashion sir we will not be finding factual questions nowadays sir it will be more based on the any practical and clinical scenarios sir in both iniss and uh, neat ss right so that is another very good point which dr drone is use, uh, is mentioning that you get access to the uh, entire pg question bank as well and uh, the, if you read the explanations and if you solve the mock tests which are there that will be helpful in your uh, preparation as well uh, so dr drone this was about the general surgery portion in addition to the marrow videos and you said that you thoroughly read bailey and the initial chapters of sebastian was there yes. any other resource uh, in terms of manuals or uh, you know uh, studies or journals which you utilize for the general surgery part um so i used to read the uh, indian journal of surgery sir okay um important any landmark trials or any important breakthrough um, discovery if it and or any other trials and studies i used to just skim through it any what is the conclusion what they are like trying mm -hmm. to say and all in my library yeah. sir that's it okay. now uh, moving on to the super specialty part where you said that you were preparing for gastroenterology so what were your resources and how did you go about preparing because you know gastroenterology surgical gastroenterology is uh, is in uh, great demand so a lot of students yes. would like to know how did you prepare the super specialty part uh, yes sir my basic book readings were sebastian and shackleford sir 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Sebastian 20th edition uh, was there in 2019 and initial part of 2020. So I read Sebastian 20th edition and after the launch of 21st edition, I read that also, sir. Uh, so many changes are there, sir. Uh, in, in the chapters of esophagus transplant and colorectum, it is entirely changed. And uh, mm-hmm. after that, sir, uh, for luminal GI specifically, I read Shackleford, sir, cover to cover. And for hepatobiliary parts, sir, I did the selective reading of Bloomgard, sir. Important points of liver resection, liver immunology, GB cancer, and all. I I choose out around around 15 to 20 chapters which which were of more importance, and I selectively studied uh, the HPV part from Bloomgard, sir. Right. And uh, what about uh, you know how many times you need to revise, or how do you go about? Uh, jotting down the points because these are uh, very voluminous books and you know sometimes when you read something you might not go get time to get come back to that uh, point again so how do you methodically organize things uh, so that you can revise them in the future uh, sir i made notes sir everything each and everything i am reading i made notes sir so even for example if i am reading liver resection i made notes out of it if i am reading col- colorectal cancer i made i, I had all the so you made notes your own notes down. From the book, yes, you made your own notes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And afterwards, Great. I kept on revising them only. I have never opened the book afterwards. So that I think so is very uh, helpful advice because you know sometimes these books are such voluminous books that you just get uh, overwhelmed seeing them. So uh, if you are making an effort to read them once, it's better to note down those points so that you can refer to them later, uh, later yes, on as well. Uh, what about uh, what about uh, questions? How did you practice the questions for super speciality? Um, uh, sir, uh, I was blessed with some four or five good friends. We used to make questions out of paragraphs, sir, uh, okay. from for surgical gastro part, and we used to uh, have discussion in the nights, or we used to put questions in the WhatsApp group, sir, our common WhatsApp group. So we used to solve them. So, because sir, uh, in surgical gastro, uh, there is no any definite question bank, sir. A question can be formed from any line, sir. Uh, so we used right. to discuss like that only, sir. Great. So I mean, group study is also very useful because you know yeah, somebody definitely. is focusing on some other resource, uh, somebody else is focusing on some other resource, and if you club your knowledge, that is always uh, useful. So of course, uh, when you're in your college, you do keep discussing with other people, and that would be uh, helpful as well. Yes, sir. Great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, what would be your advice to students who are preparing for the NEET SS exam, which is just a few days away? What should yes, they do in the last uh, uh, 15 odd days uh, before the exam? Um, sir, NEET SS, if you read, if you read the prospectus carefully, the prospectus says the exam will be at PG exit level, sir. Hmm. And I attempted last year, sir. I was very frightened. Yeah, I am attempting. I am attempting attempting the exam for surgical gastro. They will ask some rocket science. But the questions were very easy. Like if a person is thorough with sebastian, out of sixty question, a fifty-five plus questions in surgical gastro, he or she can attempt on the basis of knowledge of sebastian and Bailey, sir. General surgery part again, sir. It is basically based on the basic readings of Bailey and sebastian and uh, you have um, covered it very well in your videos, sir. Especially the endocrinology part and trauma chapters and shock chapters. Great. So just a quick revision. I mean, as Dr. Drone is saying, in the last 15 days, uh, at least for the general surgery part, my request is to watch the videos at 2x. And if you watch the videos at 2x, you can easily finish them in the next uh, six, seven days. uh, If you just devote five, six hours every day. And the surgical gastro part, you would have already prepared for it. Revise the volatile points in the last 10-15 days and that should be good enough preparation for your uh, NEET SS exam. You do need to understand that this NEET SS exam, after this, the pattern changes and it is going to become a general surgery heavy paper where all the questions would be general questions with, uh, I mean, there's no percentage defined how many would come from the specialty and which specialty. So this is your best uh, chance to crack the SS exam. So uh, I think so Dr. Drone has shared uh, his uh, wisdom with all of us. So thank you, Dr. Drone. Thank you. Sir. And, thank you so uh, much. Sir. We wish you all the very best uh, in the future. Uh, thank you, sir. And it would be great if you can guide uh, more students as well for uh, surgical gastroenterology. My thank pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. One last thing which I want to ask you, Dr. Drone. Um, what 
suggestions would you like to give to the maro team to improve the ss module um sir everything is fine sir uh, what i feel is uh, we should uh, include more from each and every specialty because sir we have already discussed like uh, pattern is going to be changed so right. from from plastic surgery part also ctvs part also urology part also some in depth uh, uh, if modules we make so it will be very better for the first year second year and third year pgs who are planning to study sir because it's going then 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 everybody will be in the same line sir there will be no preferences uh, in the upcoming neat fashion uh, it will be like you have to attempt 200 questions and on the basis of merit you will get to choose your specialty part so okay. so uh, rest all is very good sir it's so it's all uh, fantastic sir all right thank you dr don thank you very much uh, and i hope uh, all of you have learned from his experience if you have any questions please do post them uh, and we will be happy to address your questions thank you very much sir. Thank you sir thank you so much